Today on Film Riot, we shape that light. Light. As beautiful as it is, it's also an unruly beast, a wild stallion that can trample you if not tamed. So today, our masterful maestro of magic will show us five tips to do exactly that. Now, here's your host, Ryan Connolly. You're such a tool. What? Masterful maestro of magic. I just thought we'd try something different. You did your own voiceover. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Biggest tool. So today we aren't looking at specific light sources or quality, but rather the way that you can shape it, which is one of the most important and overlooked things for new filmmakers. First up on that list is bouncing light. Bounce light is something that we've talked about before, but you really can't talk about it enough whether you're just throwing some extra light into the ceiling to bring up the ambience, or you're lighting a dramatic close-up, it's the road less traveled that should be traveled more. What makes bounce light more pleasing and forgiving to the actor's face is its softer quality. You achieve this by enlarging the area the light is coming from. The bigger the area, the softer the light, and the more it will wrap around the subject. On some bigger sets, some gaffers tend to just throw up a huge source and let the grips deal with it, and almost always that first step is to bounce it, then diffuse that bounce light. Similar concept to a book light. So we shoot our light through a bounce and then set up the fusion between that and our subject and there you go, a very soft and forgiving light. The difficulty now is controlling that light. Soft light like this goes everywhere so we need to dial that in to control the spill and that is where flagging the light comes in. For this, we're gonna take some four by floppies and put them left and right cider, a topper and a bottomer to kill any unwanted spill and really dial in our light. So we still have that beautiful soft light, but now we've tamed it so that we can adjust it to whatever look and style that matches our piece. We can also grab a black solid of some kind and bring that to the opposite side of our talent's face to use as a negative fill. This will cut the light down that's bouncing into our actor's face from the environment and helps us bring contrast back into our scene. Of course, this isn't just for soft light. You can do the same with any hard source as well and can use these solids to help cut light from your environment and off your talent. Like maybe bringing in a flag from the top to trim some light off of their forehead and draw more attention to their eyes, or even another one on the bottom to really make it extreme and get that strip of light right across their eyes. And of course we have four by floppies and C stands here, but as we've shown you in other episodes, you can do the exact same thing using black sheets or other black solid objects to achieve the same thing. And for the diffusion, you can use a white sheet or even a shower curtain. We did a whole episode on DIY diffusion right here. so. Watch that. But that was our first two. We have three more to go, which we will after this. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, this is taking far too long. Hi, I'm Doug Donovan. A little known fact that most Americans don't know is that choosing the wrong domain registrar can lead to heavy family stress. This is so frustrating! I just want another cow! Julie! I think I want a divorce! <laughs> 33% of dads in America die by centaur attacks because they didn't use Domain.com. Domain.com is reliable, affordable, and the only true logical choice when getting a domain name, email, or web hosting. How you doing, Susie? A centaur killed my dad. I know. It just happened. So use Domain.com. And when you do, use the coupon code FILMRIOT to get 25% off your order. And help save my dad. It's a little late for that, Susie. But it's not too late for your dad. My dad. He's in heaven now. I think. Similar to flagging off light, you can use this technique to make your light more directional and keep it from spilling on the walls and such. If we take this office here, it's a smaller room. We have that fluorescent in the ceiling throwing light everywhere. But if we take this black cloth and mount it around the light, creating what looks like a skirt around it, we kill that spill and keep our image from looking so flat and boring. Of course, there are three lights in this room. We only skirted the middle light. Usually you would wanna do all of them, but 
you get the point. If you have a China wall, which you should because they are cheap and awesome, we did another episode on that right here, which you can watch. An interesting and simple way to skirt that light is to attach duvetine or any black material that you have to a hula hoop, then hang that from the ceiling and hang the china ball inside of it. Cut the black cloth to the size that you need to match the tone you're looking for, and you are good. And you can get different sizes of hula hoops at almost any dollar store. Black wrap is a matte black material that is pretty much the mini MacGyver flag. It can fit to almost anything with a little love and support, and any unwanted light leaks it can do away with. You can use this as a left or right cider, or you can make it a snoot to really direct your light. There's no rules with black wrap, just get creative. For our last tip, we can break up light using any number of things, from something more typical like a cookie, which you can use by cutting shapes into cardboard or anything else, then throw that in front of your light, and there you have it. Or even something as simple as a tree branch. Throw it on a C-stand, put that in front of your light, and you can break up the light in interesting and random ways, or make it more defined and cast a shadow of a nearby tree on your wall. This is especially useful when you're shooting a talking head interview with really bland background. It's a great way to add some needed flavor to the mix. Logo. So there you have it. Five ways to shape your light in friendship, love, and magical unicorns of cinema. Of course, these techniques aren't limited to just these ground level setups that we showed you today. These are just starter ideas that you can take and get creative with. But that is it, and I'll see you guys next week when I stick a hot wire into people's blood to see which one is an alien.